Mark Rice here and what we are continuing with the our lessons. In the last two parts I create main character and very basic environment. Now it is time to add some elements. Okay, I like this style so much because it gives me an opportunity to create so many cool things in a short time. And uh, let the magic begin. <laughs> the game background will be separated in a few layers. By doing that I'm able to achieve the deep of the field and to create very cool animation for those background layers in the game development. So first layers will be made from trees. Very simple and very effective. For those trees I will use rectangle tool and they will be a bit darker than the main background. Now I just will increase my first tree and I use it for the other tree. They can be even better if I add a few branches on the tree. I will use round rectangle tool for it. Like always I will play it with different sizes and positions for better dynamic. It's pretty good for now. In this empty space I will add more trees. But I will copy the existing trees and change the position of shapes. That way I am avoiding copy paste look. Ok, that's it. Now I will group it and put the hero and the ground back at full front. Yeah! My first layer is finished. In the second layer I will draw something like hills. First I will create circle using the ellipse tool and change the color. I will draw one rectangle here from this point to this point. The beauty of this is that I can change the size of hills just like that. I will move the shape here and create one big hill in the background. Copy it and create another here. Now I miss the part of hills, so I'll just increase the size of the rectangle and that's it. Yeah. I need more hills now, so I'm going to play with it a bit. Cool, the second layer is finished, now I'll create one more layers from the hills. But the new hills will be lighter than the existing and I will use the same shape. Wow! I already have the much better environment. Now I can fill this upper space with the stars and the moon. The stars will be white and I always draw them in small groups. That way I will get a more dynamic look. I finish at the stars and it is time for cool moon. I will draw a yellow circle here. If you don't have those colors yet you can download from gigantic.store for free. Now I will copy the yellow circle one more. The new circle will be a bit dark and I will use it to create the moon texture. After the moon texture I will add the moon glow. I will copy the basic part of the moon and make it transparent. I just need to change the opacity of light here in the transparency panel. And I will do that one more time. Now I am satisfied but I need the final touch. I will merge all layers nicely. So I will add some clouds. In this case it will look more like a fog. 
in order to get that mystical atmosphere. I will create it using rounded rectangle. They will be white, transparent and different in size. Ok, this part is done. I will create one more part about the environment and after that comes another interesting part. Enemy. Finally! It's time for me! <laughs> Trust me, it will be very cool. So stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Peace.